I, I don't think I could ever live there. I go to Miami and I just go, you guys are fucking out of control. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to the Triple Seven Podcast, episode game? eleven. Numero once with the gang <laughs> and who we have here. Introduce Scott. yourself. It, it's Scotty. It's Scotty. <laughs> let me know. It's Scotty, not Scotty or whatever know. anyone else. Not not Scooty, Scoot, 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 whatever the fuck. It's Scotty. It's I Scotty. promise. Say it with me. That's the worst they've called you. <laughs> Scotty. Scoot, no, Scooty. it's mostly I get Scooty. Someone was like, oh, it's Illuminati Scooty. I'm like, bro, it's literally like it rhymes on purpose. That just it sounds rhymes. stupid. Oh. <laughs> um, well, like literally the way it's spelled is Scotty. Yeah, it's like, like a phrase, right? Like There's no double O. Yeah, but like I was like, let me make it more feminine so they don't think like I'm a little boy. But I mean, like, because it is a little boy name. But <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it that name. It. it works with it. works. Yeah. Where'd you get Scotty from? Actually, yeah. um, where have I heard that? Yeah. Yo, yeah, <laughs> actually, it's a couple things. So I really like Kid Cudi and Travis Scott. Okay, and I was okay. like, all right, if I was gonna make it a girl name. Scotty sounds girly, right? <laughs> yeah. And then, like, also, my birthday is, like, almost the first day of winter. So, there's mm-hmm. a um, Norse mythology god named Scotty, but it's spelled S-K-A-D-I. That's how I got, oh. like, Scotty. The, yeah, that's how I got it spelled. But I was like, everybody spells it with an O, so I'm going to change the A the to a O. o. Okay. And then, boom. So, I was just like, yeah, it got us a winter low-key. That's hard. But, yeah, no, that's nice. And yeah, I think it, like, looks cool. very, like... Nice. It looks. It's very rememberable rem- the way yeah, that it's spelled. Yeah. So. No cap. Do you like folk nice. mythology and all that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh yeah. <laughs> definitely. Like how? So like. What, what, what? Um, I really like uh, Greek mythology, Egyptian mythology, um, North mythology. Not really, but I. My ex used to play this game called uh, Smite. It was it called Smite or okay. some shit like that. And like they had different mythologies in it. So yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where I had found out about Scotty. Yeah. But mostly like Greek and like Egyptian. That's dope. Because I know mythology because God of War. So same. same. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> God of War fire. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I was a theater major. So like Greek mythology was like always just like mad instilled in me. But like I haven't like ventured off to like anything else. Which one is Zeus? Egyptian uh, sounds Greek. like Greek. That's, that's Greek? Greek? Yeah. The Greeks go hard. Facts. Yeah, yeah the no cap. All their gods? Those gods. I'm not gonna sure. lie, y'all played Assassin's Creed? Yeah, like well, nah. like a little, like a very Pleated. little. So yeah. I'm saying no. Two, two is fire, um, but being that it's in Italy, that shit's hard, because they have like, you mm-hmm. know, the, the Mount Olympus and stuff like that, yeah. that are still there, quote unquote, back in those times. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, it's pretty cool that they put that in the game. I always love mythology, <laughs> just because it's like, it's like gods, but like violent gods. On God. Yeah. <laughs> On God. It's like gods oh. with like, ta- like, like trauma. Oh, <laughs> yeah. PTSD Too much issues. Like Zeus went through a lot of shit. I think that was Zeus's story. Like he killed his dad or some shit. Oh, yeah, wow. the yeah. whole like Hades is like built on like just pure like tea. Yeah, like, oh, oh, shit. all of them are like honestly compared to Egyptian mythology, Greek is like uh, bad girls club. Literally, and okay. maybe like Egyptian is yeah. more like. I feel like getting more into like growing up hip hop. Like it's like a little bit like drama, but it's not that bad. Um, okay. But Greek is just like it's Jesus. Pure, yeah, Greek got Medusa too. Oh, <laughs> There's hella, no. like, they want all the smoke, bro. Like, like they was bored back in the day. They said we need some stories, bro. And this they're still is, here. That's how we got Versace. <laughs> so we got Versace. <laughs> facts, facts. It is true. Anyway, more, moving on to like more you. Yeah. So like, where are you from? Um, originally. Uh, I was born in Washington, D.C. My okay. parents are from Jersey, so we went back and forth due to legal reasons. And okay. then back in, like, 2003 or so, we had moved to Florida. Damn, Okay, so you've been here ever since. Yeah. How old are you? Uh, 21. Oh. Well, 22, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's weird when, like, you've been saying 21 for, like, for a whole, whole year. year, and then, like, your birthday passes, and it's you're like, like... Wait, I'm 22 now. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm, I'm about to be 25, and I still think I'm 23. God. Bro, oh my God. <laughs> I just don't want to say 25. We, like, a quarter of the way through. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> don't even... No, yo, yo, sad face, bro. I'm just like, bro, I'm... St- I'm I, I, I exit it after 21. I'm like, oh, I can drink now, so no other age That's actually it. matters after I've this. made it. To- uh, <laughs> no, I turned 21 in a week, so now I've been like or in like a couple weeks actually so now I've been like training myself every time anyone asks me I'm like I'm about to be there I'm no longer a child anymore <laughs> bro you know what was the like shittiest thing bro so look um, a lot of my friends birthdays are in December 
So um, I remember we was trying to go out on their birthdays, mm -hmm. and I was just like, my birthday at the end of December. Uh, so I'm like, um, like let me in the club, bro. My birthday's in a week, <laughs> whoa! Like y'all really tripping about a week, bro? You can All my see friends. it. <laughs> and they're like, no, we can't let you in. You're still underage. I'm like, bro, oh, this wow. is the Cries outside shit. of the club. <laughs> it's your can't friend's birthday. <laughs> You're not trying to ruin shit. You're Bro, oh my god, there. I was just like, all right, I'm gonna see y'all boys later. Yeah. <laughs> like y'all have a great time, and it's the meme with the smile oh, and the yeah. teeth. I literally <laughs> have a rule that it's like, bro, I don't want to, like, I don't even want to walk up to any club that I know that I can't get into, because then what? Like, I'm just gonna be outside. Like, I'm not gonna kill no one's vibe. Yeah, you're not gonna go in. Are we here? Oh here. Here. Sisters fake. <laughs> we about to get over this issue though, so it's okay. <laughs> Facts. When you see all the homies going in, you can't talk to them anymore, and they're just like eyeing you like puppy face. Like, face <laughs> it was about to happen. Face bro, they're walk walking in like, bro, I'm sorry. Like, but we, we already had these plans before you got we here. Pat you on the bro. head. Like, it's okay <laughs> next time. Well, does that hurt? I'll see you in a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do this. It's going to be okay. <laughs> all right, so I guess we could talk about like your early childhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, growing up because you said you were moving around and shit. Yeah, yeah. You so you what? What is it? You come here from Washington? Okay, so DC. Uh, my mom had like open DCF cases in okay. Jersey, so she hasn't said that's why she moved to DC to have me and my brothers and shit. But like, it's probably not wink. wink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, bro, we it's just coincidental. Cool. Like the the brother that's like right above me got like put up for adoption by DCF. They were like, nah, we're taking your dick out the out of the hospital room literally Whoa. so she's just like well next literally the next year i'm like she moves to maryland has me and yeah. i'm just like that just seems really coincidental <laughs> 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 she's like, um, i just wanted to move for weather purposes right like, yeah. <laughs> okay okay like bro no like i'm pretty sure and then um we moved to virginia because she didn't like baltimore mm -hmm. like um it was just back in the 90s like it was really bad in D.C. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, you heard, like, Dave Chappelle and shit talking <laughs> about it, bro. It was terrible. Like, it was, like, people doing heroin on the street. You're walking oh, down man. the street. Yeah, bro, you're yeah, across shit. the street from, like, the White House, well, and they're, like, getting fucked up. Shooting up and shit. <laughs> like, that's, that's where the drugs are coming from. <laughs> like, bro, bro, to this day, God. bro, people be, from D.C. are known as fighting ass niggas, bro. It's <laughs> just, like, oh bro, God. they're just ruthless over there. So my mom was like, nah, I'm going I'm to head out. Yeah. <laughs> so, she was like she she went to virginia and then she had my brother we stayed there for a while and then um my grandma had got sick so we moved to florida okay because she lived in florida yeah she lived oh, in florida okay, she okay. moved uh way before like after andrew a little bit okay yeah, I mean, so so she you. got sick and then uh we came down here to take care of her and then when she passed we're like we're gonna go back and like my little brother by this time he's like Bro, I've been in Florida damn near all my life, and I don't want to leave. I don't want to <laughs> so it was like, I, I hate mean, it here. I'm like, I hate it here. Can we like leave, bro? Like, that's what I was gonna ask you. So like, how do you feel about staying here and like growing up here mainly? It was this is like completely different. It was ass. It was just like, bro, like we poor as fuck. So like, it's right. like you know. Y'all from South Florida. If it's not like you coming with a Gucci belt and some G phrases on, it's tough. It's, it's tough. It's you tough. know what I mean? So it's just like you already in the hood. You already living by crackheads. And then on top of that, like everybody at school is like picking on you because one, you have an accent. Like I lost my accent, but when I was a kid, it was way stronger. Like I sounded like a fucking Guido. Um, so, uh, Jersey. <laughs> So like yeah. it was bad. Like my grandma's Italian, so she okay. has like a really strong accent. And like, she, yeah, this like she yeah, sounds yeah. like a soprano. So it's oh, hard. The gabagool. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking talks like this. No cap. Oh, like, that's this so is hard. Lit, though. It's cool. No, I love accents. <laughs> fucking, fucking, fucking Get shit. Get your shit together. Get, Get your, your shit together. Fucking Tony. shit together. You fucking dumb bastard. <laughs> That's literally how they all talk. My mom still talks like that. But, you know, like, <clears throat> when you're in school, everybody's just like, why Why do you talk like that? Like, <laughs> why you talk like that? That was, like, their favorite shit. Why you talk like that? And I'm like, talk like what, bro? Like, I don't understand. 
<laughs> if it was in Miami, everyone was probably like, what? What South American Where country are you from? from? <laughs> this ain't even South America. Oh, oh, where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my God. So, like, okay. So, you went to school. Did you get, like, bullied or yeah, not? Yeah, I got, I got bullied so terribly. <laughs> <laughs> I got bullied terribly. <laughs> like, bro, I'm not, I'm like, I already say this shit, like, now, because I, was, I God forbid, yeah. they'd be like, bro, that's cap. You wasn't even like that in high school. Yeah, you right. Yeah, you're, right. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're not wrong. Fuck you're all of you. Um, that's, that's <laughs> look what y'all did. The wrong guy, right? Y'all, y'all molded y'all me into some shit. amazing shit, right? Because it was just like I got used to people motherfuckers telling me no all the time. So I was just that's like, good. man, fuck y'all. I'm gonna do music. They're like, you're not gonna do. Music. You ain't even rapping like that. Like, <laughs> they don't want to listen to my shit because, like, mm-hmm. it was you know, like. Down there, they was like, if you're not sounding like Kodak, we don't yeah, want to hear it. So, so you started, like, making music in high school. Yeah, like, I didn't start recording, per se, but, like, I was, like, freestyling on the back of the bus and, like, <laughs> acting oh, okay. goofy as hell. Was it dope? Like, like was that, like, an outlet to the bullying? Like, just, like, you know, like, Yeah, because it was, like, the younger kids, for some reason, fuck with me because I was weird. Like, yeah, they were like, yo, you rap? Like, do rap shit. Like, of course, younger kids are always going to be like, yo, you're kind of cool because you're already, like, a senior or some shit. Mm-hmm. But, like, my, my class was just, like, fuck you. Not fuck you. Um, <laughs> yeah, he like that. that Most people are haters. <laughs> oh, God, bro. So it was just, like, a lot of that. It was just, like, I hated school. But I was, like, good as fuck at school. Like, I had, like, great test scores and shit. And, like, honestly, if I wanted to become a doctor, I could. But I said, I'll fuck nah. that. Um, <laughs> that should sound boring as fuck. Oh, my God, bro. It yeah, was just, I like, I'm never. too good at this. Like, I'm like great at fucking math and science and reading and doing papers and shit. It was just, like, bro, but I don't want to do this for yeah, the rest yeah. of my life. Of course. Um, and shout out to all the doctors that have kept us alive. But that shit's boring. Bro, no cap. <laughs> I'm mean, the people stress. that were built for that shit, and I just I can never see mentally me doing that. But Facts. it's like, cheers to you, you in there. Oh my god, bro. And it's like on top of that, it's like going home, and like I'm pretty sure y'all heard most of my songs. My <laughs> mom was a drug dealer, so okay. <laughs> fucking it was like, but like a drug addict drug dealer so it was just like yeah we have money but we're not moving out the hood because you want to stay in the dope hole so like it's just like mom this is where the business at. like my, my mom is like you know those memes where they're like oh the girls that want to sleep on mattresses but like have iphone 11s <laughs> my mom is like the definition like that. of that like, she's just like, yeah, let's live in a two-bedroom apartment with, like, six niggas. And, like, literally my house was probably no bigger than this entire room. And it had two bedrooms, surprisingly. So you can imagine how small them shits were. And it was just like, but you have Versace glasses and Michael Kors on, Mom. I don't understand. Like, she was the type. I understand. Like, she would get crackheads to go steal for her. So she'd be like, yeah, like, go get some Michael Kors out the back of the, the store when they, like, doing the shipments and shit. So she would pay them, like, 20 bucks. And she, bro, literally, I remember this one time, bro, she paid a crackhead, like, $20. And he came back with a 60-inch flat screen, a Tempur-Pedic mattress. On his back, too, I bet. No. Bro, on a bike, bro. right? On the shuttle park, bro. <laughs> the public shuttle Bro, on God, bro. I swear, you could give a crackhead $20, and they'll probably bring you back an entire kitchen set. Well, like, you just uh, had to give him 20 Chilling in the living room, he walk in with a whole TV. Oh my god, god bro. So it was just like we had like certain nice things. I remember like in tenth grade, like this one crackhead, his name was Bubba. Shout out to Bubba. <laughs> <laughs> he a real one. But like this nigga came through with like ten pairs of J's retros, not even oh like team god. Jordans. This nigga <laughs> said, Nah, we got the fours, bit. We got like two pairs of sevens. Y'all want this shit? He sold it to us for like ten bucks. I was like, You don't even understand. You wow. I don't know what you're doing, yeah. bye. So that might be how I get a PS5. Oh, Oh my God, bro! Y'all, y'all still live in Miami. Y'all That's just gotta go right down there. south. You feel me? Y'all gotta befriend some of the crackheads, bro. Just be like, yo, I'll, I'll pay you, and buy me a Gucci belt or find me a Gucci belt. Find me, <laughs> buy shit. Yeah, you tell him like, yo, find me a PS5. They're sold out everywhere. He's like, I got it, bro. Yeah, say no more. I they probably could find it. No cap. <laughs> they bring you like a but white yeah, PS4. I always found it interesting that in your music, like you're so like open about like talking about like those times. Like I yeah. feel like a lot of people would be like trying to like. Or now, nowadays, people be, like, flexing like they, they weren't from that. And so, like, Fact. for you, and especially that you're, like, a female, that you don't see that much from, like, females. Everyone would just be, like, you know, talking about their bodies and shit. So, like, I don't know. I think that's what, like, <laughs> first draw, drew, like, drew me to, like, look in, more into you and shit. Facts. Uh, not really interesting. That was, my, that was my whole thing. I was like, bro, I'm tired of females acting like we 
just some kind of prissy little creatures that don't go through shit like we have never <laughs> experienced anything we have been princesses all our lives and we ain't never leave a crib until <laughs> shit i don't even know you like 18 and now bro, no like, cap. like i hate that shit where it's like there's like especially females from the hood bro they sit here oh we can't date niggas unless they got this amount of money or this amount of jewelry like you ain't what you wasn't even raised like that like stop it stop it bro your dad your dad broke as hell. That man, <laughs> that man is a whole baser. You was not raised like that. Stop it. You better humble yourself, Jit. But like, yeah, <laughs> bro, oh God, bro. I'm oh just God. like, bro. Like my thing is, bro. If I can't offer my dude something, I'm not gonna expect him to have ten times that. Like you don't even got a job. You ain't yeah. even got a car, bitch. Did you have a job? Like me? high school or like hell no nah, bro fucking miami sucks <laughs> <laughs> they were like bro we're not hiring but why <laughs> they was like unless you speak spanish i'm like this is the oh, one time it really oh, do be no. like that this bro. is the one time that my grandma folded because she ain't teach me italian so it mm. probably would have been way easier if i knew italian well, to convert to spanish <laughs> but she folded she was like we in america now we ain't got to speak italian <laughs> fuck that Don't worry about it. <laughs> right and then it backfired like what 20 something years later <laughs> like this shit ass Yo, that's why <laughs> that's why a lot of people move here and they're like Yo, I hate it here because it's literally a Latin country sometimes. I like, it is. you know what I'm saying? But it, you find complications like that where it's like, yo, you can't get a job. Like when we were hiring one of the jobs I had, they're like, make sure they speak Spanish. They got to speak Spanish. Food. And anyone who came in, bro, we had dope ass people coming in that didn't speak Spanish out the door. We hired some old oh. ass. We I'm hired not some dumb ass because they spoke Spanish. The way you can get around that is if you speak Creole. Oh, no, you're they, not wrong because we have a really big, like, Haitian pop, uh, population. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. they'll be like, can you speak Spanish? No, nah, I can speak Creole. But they'll be like, qualified. Actually, <laughs> we need that. We might need that. We need that. Need that. <laughs> <laughs> on God. On so, it's like, that's the one exception. They'll be like, ah, oh, everybody can speak English, but you can speak Creole. So, we we'll need you on the team. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Dude, I, want, I once worked, like, in little Haiti, and, but I, I don't know any Creole. And, like, honestly, like, we worked in this area where, like, everyone coming was, like, honestly, fresh from Haiti. They only spoke Creole. It was dope as fuck, though. I, like, we communicated through action. Like, I was trying to sell them phones. I was like, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> this good. But they fucked with me. Those other people that spoke Creole, they fucked with me. I, they took me out of the store because I was too good. Oh, like, God. Nah, he's taking our job. Story, <laughs> so, out of everybody, though, like, I'm going to say, like, the Zoes probably fucked with me the most growing up. Because it was, like... I don't know, because a lot of those, they were just like, we, we know what it's like to be on the outside, yeah. bro. We got to fuck with you, bro. Yeah. And then I had found out I was Haitian when I was like 18. What? And then, yeah. That's they, dope. They had lied to me who my dad was. But that it, besides the point. <laughs> worked out it, it worked out because he was a good dude you feel me so he obviously you know he was like damn this is my kid oh do you know have to no i didn't live with him but he basically like he was my little brother's dad okay so oh. it was like he was in my life as much as he was in my brother's so he was there before i was even born type shit okay so it was just like you know they don't need to tell her oh yeah your dad happens to be some haitian nigga that went back to haiti so yeah so you already got a dad that we can break that news later you feel me so it was just like you know like when they found when i found out i wasn't mad i was like damn i could have had a shitty stepdad i guess <laughs> like That's you true. feel me like yeah. this man wasn't even with my mom at all and he was just like yeah i'm gonna take care of you so right, i'm that's just like up. that's a man last nigga yeah no yeah, yeah no, shout that's out to true. people like that bro like uh, yeah it's sure. all about it's not about blood all the time it's about like just the responsibility you oh. choose to take up loyalty oh, god. Shout out oh my god yeah Yo, so you found out you're Haitian. That's dope. Because in Miami, that's like the two populations here that are the majority is like Latin <laughs> people. And you go really east, it's like huge Haitian population. Oh my God. So it was like, you it feel was like, funny. Did you feel like, nice, I got my, like, I got yeah, the homies here. No, because I was like the honorary yeah. Haitian for like high school. <laughs> like it was just like, yeah, no, we <laughs> fuck with you. you. Like, bro, they, bro, I know every cuisine in, in, mm -hmm. in fucking Haitian culture. I've been to like the parties and shit. Like I was always fucking with them. So it was just like, bro, you, you an adopted Haitian. Now. Oh my God! So it was just like when they found out I was Haitian, they was like, ah, they bought me a Zo flag and everything. I was like, oh, we, we live, live 
<laughs> 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 they was just like, nah, bro. Like, we've been fucking with you. They was like low key joking. They was like, you probably really Haitian. Like, they would always say that oh, shit. They're like, you kind of location. I don't we know. They felt, felt it. Shit. They felt it. Oh my god. The they was like, was I just say like the universe like was like, we're gonna teach you your culture even though they're not gonna tell you, <laughs> and then you gonna find out later. So it's like, ah, I mean, <laughs> already I already know. Yo, you that's feel so me? dope. Yeah, you're like cool. already eighteen. You think like, okay, I know my Like my life is different. And then bam, here's like something you didn't know. You you're from another whole other culture. It's like more books oh my god yeah. you feel me so That's luckily it. you know haitians already adopted me they was like nah we fuck with you off top mm-hmm. and all of out of everybody growing up they were like the coolest motherfuckers no cap. that's dope, that's dope. Oh, shout out all the haitians in miami <laughs> <laughs> so <Shout> out. Out. <laughs> okay so how did you like transition from like i guess not making any music like just going to like normal parties to like now like underground shows and like that type of like area that shit was weird. <laughs> I felt weird. that. Like, no cap, because um, before I was dating this fuck nigga. But like, <laughs> and he did music, but motherfuckers ain't want to put me in the studio. They put everybody and their mama in the studio except me. So I was like, I'm fuck it. I'm going to go find new people to hang out with because mm-hmm. you a bitch, obviously. And like, basically, I had met a uh, constant cool boy, South Stripping mm-hmm. them. And um, they they put a nigga on. They was like, yo, we've been doing shows in Miami. Like, we know, mm-hmm. c- like, some people. You want to come and, like, record? And then me and Constant had um, dated or whatever. And then, you know, we was doing music. He was producing for me mm-hmm. and shit. So majority of the time, it was like these niggas were just like, yo, we're doing shows. Like, I didn't even know that this even existed. Yeah. Like, it was just like, yo, y- y'all do shows? Like, like yeah, do underground the shows most- and shit? Yeah, like, it was just like. It was weird because it's like down in like Homestead. We don't do that oh, shit. Oh yeah, Homestead. random, literally. That's far. I down. went from one day just going to straight parties and then like opened up to clubs and then two seconds later like all You're I did was shows. shows. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm an event coordinator. It was good. Like, oh my god, god. <laughs> I don't even leave a crib unless I'm doing like a show or a podcast. Because I'm just like, bro, like I fuck with hood parties, but like hood parties be getting shut down because of the shooter. So oh, yeah. I don't even like be really going like that. Shit. It's just be like, damn, those be the fun parties. And then, like, you go to, like, I don't know, like, the uppity rich kid parties. And they none of them know how to dance. <laughs> they get shut down Order, because they play Pine white Crest. music. Oh, my God. Pine I got anxiety. Crest. I can't be playing with throwing, that. They start putting throwbacks. <laughs> Pinecrest. <laughs> <laughs> I just think of Pinecrest. Oh, my God, bro. Pinecrest parties are the fucking worst. I went to literally, first of all. Dad. I went, like, my high school was literally in Pinecrest, so I went from, like, a very, like, white, like, I went to a charter school, and then randomly got thrown into, like, homestead parties, and I was like, okay, like, this is, like, a little bit better, but still, and then as soon as, like, I touched shows, I was like, alright, this is what this I want to do, this is, do. is yeah, what I was looking for. Facts. Homestead parties are the ratchetest shit yeah, I in Florida. Yeah, I can't do none of that. The, yeah. Last <laughs> week, last week, my homegirl was like, yo, there's, like, a pool party, and I was like, alright, uh, where? She was like, I don't know, some house in Homestead, I'm like, that shit gonna get shut down. Yeah, we swimming. gonna get there, people gonna get Get shot. It's, bro, get it's, it's a, not even, bro. It's rare that them shits get shut down. Now, shot the fuck up. That's the problem. <laughs> and then the cops come, and then it's like, fuck, bro. bro there oh was God. a there was a party here last year in Kendall. They got shut up, and some kid actually died in the party. Oh like bro, in Kendall too. Like that's some other that's, shit. R I P R I P Nari and them. But like, it was just like that was like the normal thing. Like I went to South yeah, Dade, man. so like every year oh. it was R I P somebody. Like yeah. off to some some gun violence shit. Fucking just like oh, there was this like this one girl named Nori. And she um had went to a party, and I think they said that the shooter thought it was a different person's car, and they shot the whole car, up, and she <laughs> had got shot in the head. Yeah, so shit, it was crazy. just like, it was shit like that that would be happening, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, damn. And I was supposed to go to that party. I remember Oof. that day. I was like, Mom, let me go to the party. And I was talking to my friend. Um, and she dude was like, Yeah, we're gonna head out, we gonna head out. Mom was like, nah, you can't go. <laughs> you like stand she, your ass inside. <laughs> bro, oh god, my mom was like, nah, cause it was like I can't remember if it was like in the alley. It was somewhere in Florida City, bro. And she was like, Nah, I don't want you to be out there that late, you feel me? And bro, show shit, bro. She was right. The one time <laughs> that I listened to my damn mom, she was right as fuck. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, yeah. bro, that's tough. That's so crazy. it was just like I don't know. That shit was not. I'm not gonna say normal, but pretty normal. Yeah. Like, just, it happens. You hear a lot of it. it I'm happy that like now we're like getting to the area of like show wise. Like, there's a lot less like gun gun violence. Yeah, like, people still stay strapped, but people are like less likely to like push it now. 
I feel like. So it's like, it's a lot better compared to like, I don't know, Holmes says shit. Yeah, because like mm. shows, it's like, you get patted down at the door, Cause. shit like that. Because it's just yeah. like, sometimes. you feel me? And sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. sometimes. But, you know, sometimes it's a shitty ass pat. Bro, like on the back. It's still bro, like, bro. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I know they got some hoods out there, but it's like, they not trigger happy like yeah. the youngins in That's like Homestead sure. and Florida That's City. Shit. Like these kids just literally are just like tr- murder is fun. Like it's not even like a fucking thought yeah. process. Like in Broward, I think they have a little bit more fucking smart. Yeah, yeah, a little more common sense. It's more like they they're only in a push if it's like really like it like premeditated like you know you like, feel me you went there for a purpose it's not like you're gonna be at a party some guy's gonna step on your shoes and then you're you gonna get shot like yeah. bro I, bro i remember right r.i.p eddie but this man was all on facebook talking mad shit and it wasn't even like he owed nobody money he ain't this nobody mom he was just talking shit oh y'all niggas ain't gonna catch me this that the third bro mm-hmm. They shot his ass, like marked his ass. I was like, for that, oh that that's it. That's all. Y'all just yeah, talking yeah, shit yeah, on yeah. Facebook. That was y'all enough for y'all to catch a murder case. Like it was, it'd be shit like that where I'm just like, y'all just think this shit is cool at this point. Yeah, like it's know. not even that's like, like it's a life right there, yo. Damn. Okay. Facts, bro. One of the only places you could go to have like a, a regular party at, and that won't get shut down or like shot ups, probably like Redlands. Nah, yeah. nah. I, don't I, like the so, I went to like so last time I went to a Redlands, Redlands party. It was like it was a whole like, like shout out. Um, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh God, we <laughs> all gonna die. Like after she goes down, you still got like a good hour. Bro, I don't trust the Redlands. It's too dark out it's there. Dark it is dark as fuck. No, it's dark as fuck. Urban Legends cult. No lights. No lights. Oops, sorry, my bad. Um, but now Urban Legends cult shout out them. They had like thrown like some like Redlands party and like they had like cars like going all like through like this like one strip and so I had parked like in the backpack and I'm like there drunk as fuck walking back to the car and like there was like four or five cars that had gotten like windows broken, cars shot up. I'm like, but like the problem in the Redlands is that everything's dark as fuck. There's no light, so you can get away with anything. Yeah, you really can get away. And the cops really aren't getting there for a while. I'm not gonna lie, Naranja the same way, low key. But I mean, it's more (laughs) rowdy because it's more people that live in Mm Naranja, but. Like, I don't know why the fuck in only Naranja is there no street lights. Yeah. Like, I have no clue. <laughs> They're just like, scared. bro, fuck. St- like, we can build more houses, but, like, fuck the street lights. Yeah. We gotta get stop. going. They expect <laughs> don't fucking stop. <laughs> oh, God. Like, I'm just like, Redlands, I don't know, bro. Also, that's, like, the only place white people live down here. So I'm like, I don't trust that. Y'all be y'all be hunting and shit out there. <laughs> I don't know. That should be good. Y'all be going mudding and There's fucking. No y'all get away with it. Oh my god, bro. Salt life people. <laughs> yeah, cause salt life. Exactly, salt, salt life, life bro. They give me a lot of Trump supporter vibes. I ain't oh, going. Yeah. I ain't going to that like, neighborhood. There's like people that like be tripping on acid and then they go there. So it's oh, like you hell. mix I, those I've two. Done, I've done Literally, that. It's it's like, I've got. I've got mudding on acid out there. It's so weird. Like you in the dark <laughs> of fucking psychedelics. Like, what do you bro, expect? Like, I don't, I don't know, bro. Like, I'm not going to say all white people bad, but if you got a fucking American flag and a salt life sticker and the on, truck. On, on your truck and you wear camo as normal fashion, <laughs> I'm going to be kind of wary of what kind of intentions you may have for my black ass. A little I skeptical. Don't know. Right, yeah. <laughs> So you're getting in a car and it's like your home. You got salt life. It's like I'll take an Uber. Oh, bro, <laughs> bro, on God, <laughs> I got me fucked up. Oh my God. Okay, so like going back, music. Um, so your new song or trap? Yeah. How did like that start, or how did you see that start like coming up? Because like a couple weeks ago, I'm on Instagram, I'm like scrolling, and I just see like lyrical lemonade post you. And I'm like, are yeah, right, yeah, you? Yeah, that's yeah, lit. Yeah. And then rolling loud, I'm like, yo, like. What did what did you get any like thing like prior that it's like okay like they're about to like kind of co-sign or like put you on or something? Nah, it just <laughs> happens. <laughs> like Rolling Loud, um, they did the video for Trap. So okay. actually, that was like some low key plug shit. It was so mm-hmm. random. I was at um Kill Awful's memorial show. Shout out Kill Awful. K- shout out Kill Awful. Mm-hmm. And um, fucking one of the rolling loud like video directors was there and they know like my dog amanda shout out amanda and they were just like yo who's this female that just performed bro like she fired Mm -hmm. 
And they were just like, no, that's my homegirl. So she had, put, you know, set me yeah, up with the people, you feel okay, me? Yeah. So then I ended up getting a video from them. This video <laughs> is $15 budget. I swear to God. <laughs> we were just like, as long as we have a concept, it's going to look fuck. And that's exactly what the fuck happened. Like, we ain't even really have money to be. We, we bought some cups and some Kool-Aid. And <laughs> we said, this a video. Where were those videos? Uh, this was in Pompano. Pompano? Yeah. So it's just funny because it's like me and um Chakuda, like we were just making a song to be funny. Like we were just like making some simple ass beat and we're like, damn, we can like slide on this. And then I remember we were trying to come up with a chorus and we're like, we just need like one word, bro. We don't even need that much. Like <laughs> we spitting on the fucking verses. We just need one word. And then we're like, trap, bro. And we're like, ah, fuck it. So it was just like such a like random song. Like we were just like, we, we been supposed to work. You feel me? Like I've known Chakuda for like a whole year and like almost a half now. So mm -hmm. it was just like, you know, we been supposed to work, but we were just like, ah, fuck it. We in the stew right now. Let's make some shit. Mm -hmm. And then it, took the fuck off for no reason <laughs> it was really weird i remember my fucking tiktok was on um like shadow ban or some shit and i was like posting like the song like mm -hmm. when it first came out and it wasn't going nowhere and then i remember we had recorded the video they sent me the snippets and i put it on tiktok and for some reason that was the day that my shit decided i'm no longer shadow ban <laughs> they said this is too far no no cap and it was just like first hour i was like 10k and i got like 500k on like yeah. tiktok so that wasn't like abnormal you feel me mm -hmm. but eventually it was like 50k and mm -hmm. then it went like 100k and then like 200 yeah, i was like TikTok. whoa Pushy yes shit. bro I was like, what the fuck? And everybody's like asking me what the name of the song was. Cause every time I posted the video with the name of the song, it, it wouldn't go no fucking where. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to just be like, this heat, bro. And then fuck it. <laughs> so then I had to literally sit there in every comment. Bro, there's like 3,000 comments, bro. Oh, yeah. Chat. Nah, on TikTok, that shit's going to blow. Oh, that shit section was... gets so packed. But that's lit. I feel like TikTok is now like just opening mad opportunities for artists because it's like you got one good song and you out of there. Oh, for oh, sure. Oh, God. Because yeah. that's what happened with Sauce em Up. I like, Sauce mm -hmm. em Up hit like 23k on soundcloud and then like you know combined i don't even know mm -hmm. how much probably maybe 100k plays combined but it's like you know like that wasn't the, trap wasn't the first song to necessarily go viral but mm -hmm. for some reason trap transcended like it just started getting on different platforms yeah, like i remember it up very yeah quickly. it starts picking up and shit. yeah like it was like saw someone like everybody's like fucking with it they listening to it but nobody like thought to repost it or nothing like big big places and then this one i think it was hot freestyle or some shit some fucking instagram page mm -hmm. and they were just like oh uh posted and i just <laughs> saw it like me tagged and i was like what the fuck go on that page they got like half a million followers on instagram i'm like what the fuck is this <laughs> hold on okay. so i'm just like posted i'm just like watching the comments i'm just like they really doing this and then fucking uh some dude from lyrical lemonade hit me up he's like yo this shit kind of far i was like thanks <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> thank you and then i get a write-up on lyrical lemonade i was like what the fuck is this yo that's dope yo, that's you just, as a kid. right bro i'm just like yo this shit is wild as fuck so it was just like when the video finally dropped like it did pretty well we had 24k mm -hmm views and i'm like this is my first music video i ain't never dropped shit like yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay that is your first and That's make sure first. to check it out check out right. trap by go, go check out. Uh, i want to talk about like one thing in the videos like i see like how confident you are in it and yeah. you say i wanted to ask you that's your first video you just said it is yeah. like a lot of, i don't see that in a lot of people's first video like your hand movements your face the facial expressions you're making i feel like <laughs> you see that as like yo like a lot of people don't have that it's like your confidence is shining on that video i'm sure a lot of people could see it when they saw that video facts i mean i was like low-key a uh, very very art oriented kid growing yeah. up i was so, gonna say were you a drama student yeah at one point i went to drama camp and <laughs> <laughs> i went to drama camp and then like in high school i had uh was one it wasn't my magnet because i was in magnet art but um it was like a film class that was like an elective that you can keep getting re you know every year mm -hmm. so basically i just kept taking that bitch every year from like 10th grade so i learned a lot about filming and like acting and like putting yeah, shit together mm -hmm. yeah you feel me so, so like it was just like it kind of helps now you know that i'm doing more videos you understand yeah. that process exactly and then i had to um when i was in college i went to college for like two years before dropping out <sighs> to be a rapper um, <laughs> 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 no 
No, nah, fucking dream. school. That school was hard though. <laughs> but um, I went to art school and um, I went for animation. So a lot of the oh, big shit. part of animation is learning how to act and getting your characters to act and okay. you know yeah. making certain facial expressions so that you know the characters come to life. Yeah. So yeah. you have to like yeah, literally be in a mocap suit and like understand how it is to be human mm-hmm. in order to animate these people. So when it comes to doing my own videos, it's like. I kind of understand the structure of videos and what like kind of clicks mm-hmm. to people like, oh, this is very like worth watching. Yeah. So it's like, that's what you had to do in an animation. Yeah. You had to give you something that's worth watching. And yeah, yeah. Text. You're performing, like you're performing as you're yeah. shooting. Oh, that's God. why TikTok is so attractive to a lot of people because like the funny dances they and all that, that like character. you stay active, you're doing all these movements and like people enjoy seeing mm-hmm. that shit. Facts, like, bro. That's literally how I got big on TikTok. Like my TikTok is literally just me joking and making like sus ass jokes <laughs> and like political statement ass jokes <laughs> all the time and like mm-hmm. acting like a crazy bitch sometimes. But it's just like, I mean, to be honest, it's just at different extensions of my personality. I'm not acting. Exactly. (laughs) I say that's the people who end up doing good in whatever platform where it's like, it's like this level of like, yo, I'm being a hyper, like exaggerated version of myself, but this really me. I'm just like expressing me. I was going to tell you, so like I had seen you like a couple times before like we actually like met and I forgot what the name of the show is. I was trying to remember it, but I remember the the flyer was like blue and it had like, um, it was like Street Fighter. But all the like artists on there. Damn, it, I, I know that, that cool boy was like on the like actual flyer, and then it was like his time to perform or whatever. And I just see you going ham. And at the time, I didn't know it was you. And like, yeah. so like I have the same females don't like me. I don't like approaching females. Oh god. So, <laughs> so like I'm in the cut and I'm just watching you go ham. And I was like with my like friend at the time, and we were just like, damn, this is go crazy. Like you were just like a pure vibe. I was like, all right, like I fuck with her. And then so whatever two weeks later come by and like you're at another show and like you're just always like mad like active and like hyping everyone up and i was like damn like she 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 has to be like an artist or something <laughs> then come two weeks later pass by and you on stage and i was like ah oh, i knew it <laughs> you just always have like that type of like lit personality that i fuck with and i feel like people are always like gonna be like attracted to you because of it um like females don't have that type of like connection Spunk. yeah type it's yeah they're the more corner twerking or like you want stage oh twerking. god bro it's just like bro because one thing is like i don't look up to the same types of people that a lot of female rappers look up to like they look up to other female rappers and i mean like i listen to female rappers but not as much as i would listen to other male rappers mm-hmm. so when it comes to like people like travis scott like tyler the creator like earl sweatshirt yeah. like people like that where they're performing bro they're performing they're not yeah. fucking just sitting there like Yo, like nah. literally, bro. The my favorite rappers do not stand there and just like, yeah. whatever. Let everybody sing the song. Just walk around the stage, bro. They're literally like hyper as fuck. Like they're interacting. They're talking mm-hmm. to the crowd. You feel me? Travis and Tyler do that a lot. Like they're yeah. joking nah. and doing shit like that. So I took a lot of those elements where it's just like, bro, you have to be able to connect to your crowd. Also, I have like social anxiety, like oh a God. bitch. So. <laughs> There was something that I developed as a kid where it's like, if I make everybody laugh first, it's less nerve wracking. I get that. I get that. <laughs> so it's just I like, that. You it's like, like breaking like, the ice. Yeah, it's just breaking yeah. the ice. Facts. You're yeah, just like, bro, I'm already nervous because I don't even know if you're going to like these songs. <laughs> so I'm going to just make jokes until it's time for me to perform. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and I really hear you with that because like, when I used to go to a lot of shows growing up, I remember the worst thing would be like, you'd be waiting for like some one of the headliner performances and they just come on and they just stare like, yeah. And no rap. one's fucking with it. <laughs> kind of got to stand that. there and wait. Yeah. Bro, and it's like, dog, I've been, in the f- I've been battling my way through this crowd for hours to see you stand. <laughs> oh, no, bro. And it's just like, bro, like, the motherfuckers be rolling up weed on stage, like, just song playing in the back. I'm like, this is not a performance, bro. Yeah, no. I want to give motherfuckers shit. Like, if I could fucking afford pyros and fucking holograms and crazy shit and goddamn... You feel me coming down on a goddamn eagle? I would, but since I can't Ooh, afford that right okay. now, it's like future stuff. I'm gonna do it myself. <laughs> I'm gonna just have to do it myself. Fuck it. Type, no, especially like because I've like done a lot of shows. Like the worst thing is like getting someone on stage and then like right after like a lit ass performer and then they're just kind of standing there and they're like mumbling their own like song. Dude, and it's like, nah. bro, like why are you performing if you're not gonna like touch like your crowd? You get me? Oh, if you're not gonna oh, make God. the best out of it, like that's what you. And like um the people around you also like shout out 3055 like they're always yeah. really good at like connecting with the audience and just making everything lit 
I don't oh know. My, that's like my biggest pet peeve is like getting someone on stage and then it's like, uh, like your music could be good, but you're, but not, you're not like perform- selling you it. Yeah, you know, all. you know what was the wildest shit I saw. Speaking of thirty fifty five, that's how I met them. I was like, "Who the fuck are these <laughs> niggas, bro? They're super hype, bro. I don't even, bro. I don't even fuck about what their music sound like, bro. Cause whatever they're doing sound lit as fuck. That's literally how I met thirty fifty five and and uh, uh 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 what was, what was the group before they all helped broke up? Um, ULC. 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 Yeah. So it was just like. They always they were deep. always bro, and I remember seeing fucking Boofy and, and Switchblade. This nigga Switchblade is on Boofy's uh, shoulders, bro, and he's just like going crazy. I'm like, yo, who are these? Boofy niggas? jumping below him, bro. <laughs> mind you, mind you, Switchblade is like six foot. Like he's not a short nigga. Like, <laughs> bro, I know on online he looks short. He's, he's not, not that short. short. Well, so I'm like, you are on a whole other man's. Like this is not a short nigga performance. Like you are too tall niggas on top of each other so <laughs> it's just like a monstrosity of one dude and you're just like yo <laughs> yeah, bro, oh, that shit them. was crazy but like yeah. that's the shit that you get from like uh-huh. hungry underground people because i've been in shows where not gonna say no names but it was like famous niggas or whatever and they had literally brought their own posse to turn up on their yeah. performance only oh i remember that that would happen I so hate it. much they put, like, there's 20 yeah. people deep on a the stage they're not even oh, doing yeah, that nah. much because they're the main even... performer is not even getting lit so it's like you got 20 people just kind of like head bobbing whatever and then <laughs> like, they like, all right out it's like what you bringing people for facts <laughs> i mean like my thing is my thing is it's like i don't come 20 niggas deep mm-hmm. i'll come with the niggas i'm performing with maybe like a few friends mm-hmm. but that is it bro i do not come with fucking uh, entourage of motherfuckers yeah. so it's different for me when i pull up to a show and i remember one show i was with Vusi. i was with uh the den had did a show with uh giovanni x yeah. or some shit mm-hmm. and they had all like pulled up but it was so many people that actually knew me at that one show mm-hmm. that i was just like this is weird because i ain't pull up with these niggas like they just sh- showed up and they were like yo we're here for scotty like i was like yo this shit is hard because they were like teed bro like yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. like this is amazing that i've never had great. this before <laughs> right but i feel like that's more fulfilling than bringing 20 motherfuckers yeah. and then like they're turning up and then y'all all came together and y'all all leave together and it's just yeah, like it's, it looks it's not the point <laughs> the point is to right? like captivate the audience and they're for you not just bring them oh god what? <laughs> my biggest like f- like my favorite thing is like being able to meet people mm-hmm. and like just be like yo like i thanks for <laughs> like a, 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 like listening to my shit because you don't have to so <laughs> thanks for that um, but it's just like, you know, like a lot of people look up to me now and it's really weird because I'm like, I ain't shit. Like, I'm just a regular ass nigga. Like, c- fucking, I still need a job right now. Fuck you talking about. But it's just like, I don't know. Like, that's more like fulfilling where it's just like I get to meet new people. It's not the yeah, same people that I've been. People, exactly. So it's just like, it's more of a genuine thing. It's not like, oh, you guys are just clout chasing. It's yeah. just like, you guys actually fuck with me. Yeah, they genuinely fuck with you. Because like, there's, like the <laughs> there's a lot of clout chasing in my life. There's a lot of clout chasing. Yo. Oh my fucking God. I'm so glad. See, this is why like I pride myself. Because I was like, I went from the super bullied. I ain't popular. I didn't mm-hmm. come out of high school with a click, nigga. Yeah, like, I was uh, just like, most of my friends didn't even go to my school. So it was just like, to come from that to having people like, Oh, we fuck with you. Supporting like you, heavy. Exactly. Yeah. You work your way. Like it's like hey, yo, bu- best, bu- yeah. like people get bullied and get like through it. Come out with but the that's the best. You get, I thank God for shit. everything that those people put me through. What? I was what? a theater kid. They all hated me. I was oh, like, right. cool. <laughs> and then ran to bed. Oh, God. And then I just started going clubbing. And then there's bitches twerking and bitches shaking ass. And I'm like, I don't do that. So it wasn't <laughs> until like I found like kind of the underground that I was like, all right, this is where I'm meant to be. Like, this I is where this. people like appreciate me and shit. Fact. So like, thank God for all them people. Because like it taught me that it's like, I don't got to stay in that situation. I don't got to stay in that group that like doesn't fuck with me. Exactly. Yeah. And a lot of people stay with the mentality of like, oh my god, how do I change so that these people fuck with me? Yeah. Oh yeah, or, and it's like you really that. come like, through with it. It's just like, yo, people don't fuck with me. They won't fuck with me. Let me just be myself. You, you go get your anxiety. Anxiety. <laughs> Oh god, there ain't no changing. Bro, no cap. Like I always say this. Like everybody will tell you, bro. I have been the same nigga since 2004, bitch. I have not changed whatsoever. Maybe got smarter, made better decisions over time. Obviously, we we grow as people, but. 
definitely when it comes to personality and being this loud, obnoxious, fucking like hyperactive, like crackhead kid. Um, <laughs> like it's always been that. And I remember being bullied for the same reason I'm getting praise right now. So it's like, I mean, it you don't have to necessarily it. change, bro. If you're a unique person right now, they may not fuck with you, but they'll eventually fuck with you. Because yeah, people yeah, grow yeah. up. Yeah. Like, just be yourself. I think everyone's unique. The only people that, that, that uniqueness won't shine is when you're trying to conform to everybody yeah. else. Like, you stay in like, your own not, lane, like, not. shit gonna, have, like, come to you. Yeah. Like, yeah, and that's what... Do what you I, love, and, like, people will follow. People yeah. and money will follow. That's what I tell younger people, because people, like, teenagers and tweens and shit, they're super impressionable because they want to be accepted, they want to mm-hmm. be a part of a group so fucking bad. Yeah. So it's like, when you don't have that, like, aspiration to be, you know, fit mm-hmm. in, like, me, like, there's... Dip, dip, definitely plenty of kids like me that did not want to conform they're like fuck that i'm a hipster ew (laughs) right (laughs) but there's a lot of people where it's like this is not even what they want to do bro i've met so many niggas that ended up in prison because they friends told them to fucking do some shit with them and being that they didn't want to say no at the time you feel me because teenagers are fucking impressionable bro you can tell these motherfuckers to do damn near anything and if it makes them get some cool points they're gonna fucking do it so it's like you feel me it's easy to tell a teenager, bro, a lot of them are going to bully you for being unique because you found yourself already. They're mad at you because they can't That's be themselves. That's intimidating. Like, when, you, when you're really being yourself and it's like you're unbothered, that intimidates people. It bothers oh, them. Like, why is this guy okay with they himself? They get insecure. Like, what's like, going they get on? Like, yeah, they get, they, your confidence it's is kind of like, like what, what makes people thing, insecure. Because one person wants to be you and then the other person wants to, like, fit in like you. So <laughs> it shouldn't, <laughs> be, like, it shouldn't like, be like that because if you're shining and the other person feels insecure because of that, like, you should shine. Like, bro, you got to shine so that person can feel that, like, vibe and, like, that, like, just you're at an age where it's like you don't really know that that's what you're like, supposed to be doing exactly like you think that you're you're like mentally trained to like want to be like everyone else yeah. and so exactly because because the biggest fear of a teenager is loneliness for sure right they see a lot of their parents they end up alone a lot of us have like single parents and shit they're like damn i don't want to be like that i want to have friends i want to have fucking all this other shit because maybe they're not getting that type of like love or like attention at home yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's just like they look to other people and they end up get fucking themselves up doing or, shit like that or they can't tell that it's loneliness because it's literally loneliness and you can't tell it's loneliness so you end up doing drugs exactly. finding like other things to fill that up oh my god yeah, it's hard to be a teen it's dope to have people that like show people like just be yourself in the long run if not in the long run the most important thing is when you're yourself you're gonna get people around you that appreciate you for you and like the deepest the only thing that really exists not to get corny but the only <laughs> thing that really exists is like your relationship with other people at the end of the day everything else is just physical oh god you know literally yeah. i don't know in the long run like you once you grow up you realize that all that shit ain't matter and yeah you're probably like better off just doing your own thing the whole time or oh god re- <laughs> bro i reflect on moments like getting bullied and shit and like they're just uh, yeah. mad funny like in the sense of like Damn, look at you now, bro. Like, it's, it's like I those moments so toughing you out. For what? <laughs> or like, you, <laughs> like <laughs> going home and thinking about these things that you would reflect on now. Like, I'm unbothered. Could not give a fuck. Right, yeah. bro. Like, it I always say this, bro. Long. My at home situation was probably worse for my mental health than anything that happened at school. Mm-hmm. I was just like, yeah, like I. I get it. There's some people that ha- can't handle bullying, and mm-hmm. you know, there's you know, you know, R.I.P. to those people that just literally could not deal with it. But like for me, it's just like, yo, imagine getting bullied, and then on top of that, when you go home, like you don't even got loving parents. Like your parents is like bag up dope, nigga. Like fuck, you you want to sleep in AC? Fuck that. Yeah. Um, like you don't got AC, you ain't got no food at home, nigga. You better figure it out before you get here. Like, oh my uh, god. How would you deal with a lot of that? Like the mental stress from like going home and. I didn't. That was a problem. Like that's why. Like recently, I had spoke on that. I was just like, you know, right now, like as an adult, I'm kind of like trying to find healthier ways to deal with Cope like a with lot. Of, yeah, issues. exactly. Because a lot of shit happened when I was a kid. Like I lost my grandma when I was 12, and she was my primary guardian. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. my mom was there, but. It's like you're in the house, but grandma's taking care of us because you stayed up all night doing shit, and she's mm-hmm. up in the morning taking us to school. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So it was just like majority of the time my grandma was like being guardian parent most of the time. So, you know, when I lost her, it was just like, damn, we're in the, at the whims of my mom. And then it was just like, oh, shit got fucked up. So and then it was like my dad, he was like such a like nice person. He would send us money or whatever. And then when he passed, it was just like, 
fuck, bruh. But when you're in survival mode at such a young age, because when at 12, I was just like, damn, like, my mom not going to get up and go get us some food. Like, once we, once the 15 come and then there's no food in the crib, we're going to have to go steal and get food. My mom taught me and my brother how to steal, like, mm-hmm. and not get caught. Like, literally, bro, we're 12 and 11 going into Walmart with bags and shit, not stealing candy. We're stealing food, like, yeah, for the yeah, rest yeah. of the fucking week. You feel me? So it's just like, when you're put into that predicament, you can't be like, weak bro like you can't like think about oh damn like i'm hurting because like my guardian my parent is gone you feel yeah. me like i can't be fucking sad because nigga like uh yeah, so like, you feel me like maybe. bullying bullying's bad but like my nigga i can't even get a hot meal when i go home my fucking water and my lights is off yeah. like that's a whole different problem when you're like hungry and it's like how am i gonna eat that's a whole different bro, problem bro i'm that's stressing about a whole number fuck Fuck the motherfuckers at school, bro. My water is off. I got to figure out what friend house I can go to to take a bath before school tomorrow, bro. Like, I'm making calls, running around the city, doing all types of shit. And it's just like, when you're, like, always in, like, oh, how am I going to take care of myself mode, at such a young age, you can't, like, process a lot of shit that's happening to you. So now that I'm at a point where it's like, okay, I can pay my own bills, like, my water ain't off. My lights ain't off. I have a place to stay. Like, I got a car. Everything's Gucci. You feel me? I got my shit paid for. I'm cool. So, it's like, now I can just be like, damn, like, I ignored so much for so long that now I can, like, actually like, deal, deal with, with it. it. Yeah. Exactly. I understand it. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's growing up. Yeah, that's coming out on the other side of things. Some yeah. people okay. falter. Some people, like, come out the other way. Facts. Because, like, bro, sometimes it's just like, you got to, you, I, I look at, my family and like a lot of my friends and shit and i'm like i never wanted to go back to the hood i was like bro whatever the fuck happens after i leave my i left miami and i said i'm not coming back unless i'm living in a fucking penthouse i'm not i'm not moving back to this bitch at all Mm -hmm. i'm not doing it so it's just like that was my goal for myself i was like bro whatever happens i'm never going back to ghouls i'm never going back to florida city unless i'm living in a nice ass crib Mm -hmm. not doing it Cause it's just like I'm not gonna put myself back into that environment to get fucked up all right. over again. Yeah, no, nah, you gotta get out of that. that same shit. You gotta break that cycle. Facts. And a lot of my friends, they couldn't get out of that cycle. They got yeah, stuck in the loop. Happens. Yeah. yeah roped. So um, I'm gonna go to the questions that I put on the triple seven page. Oh shit. So these are the questions that I got from some of the fans. So this dude said, um, "What would it take for you to feel famous?" Shit. I don't even know, <laughs> bro. Cause I feel like every time like I get a new milestone of feeling famous, I don't feel famous. <laughs> I'm you want to keep going for more. Yeah, like I'm one of those people, bro. I'm just like, damn, like, yeah, I got this, but how can I get more? So like, I feel like I'm always gonna have that, and maybe that'll make me kind of crazy in the future. I hope <laughs> not. I'm gonna be looking back at this interview like, bruh, no, who <laughs> left? <Who left? laughs> <laughs> but like, honestly, like, probably when. You know, I'm able to sit at home and, like, not be able to, like, go outside and go to a mall because motherfuckers is going to attack me or some shit. That's probably when it's like, all right, I'm actually famous. I can't really do normal shit no more. Ooh. Yeah, that, yeah. that would be one. Yeah. That makes sense. It's already that getting does. to that point. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily as extreme, but, like, I'll go to the skate park and they'd be like, yo! And I'm like, oh, fuck, can I just skate, please? Oh, so you skate? <laughs> no, yeah, I just I'm look bad, like but... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm bad. Skate park in the backyard. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah we got some ramps. Damn, I don't even got my skate shoes. They at the crib. But, yeah, bro, like, I, I know how to do an ollie. That's it. And I know how to ride ramps a little bit. Hey, listen, I used to ride, like, ripsticks when I was a kid. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, pretty like. nice. Yeah, you know, pretty nice Um, at ripsticks. That's but just hard. It is. It's hard as shit. I ride one. But and I could do tricks on that shit and everything, bro. Kick and I was just like, <laughs> I never learned to kick. I don't That's even know. Hard. Can you even? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. That is yeah, fucking you insane. You could grind on that shit. Stand everything. On yeah, I know, like, the grinder shit. Yeah, that there's shit maniacs. Oh, my God. <laughs> Skateboarders be doing everything. <laughs> Scooters are also fire. I had a lot of vehicles because um, my mom was like, every year you get a vehicle um, such as a bike or a ripstick because oh, okay. y'all <laughs> get the movement. fuck out the house. Um, so <laughs> literally, like, we had, like, all forms of transportation except a car. And... <laughs> So basically, um, I remember not wanting to ride skateboard because when I was like five, my cousin had let me like ride his skateboard 
and instead of using the foot that was on the ground to push back, I used the one that was on the board like a dumbass. Yeah, I don't know why yeah, the fuck I thought that was a good idea. And I busted my shit and my whole nose started leaking. It was terrible. So I was so scared of skateboards. And then like recently, um, my friends were like, bro, we skate. You want to you wanna come to the skate park? I didn't even know there was skate parks. I'm like, the fuck? There's a <laughs> skate park here? This is down the street from my house? I've never seen that shit. Hey, oh, but, spot. <laughs> but, bro, and I'm just like, let, hey, let me learn how to skate. So I've been, like, picking up pretty quickly. You yeah. know, I still can't do a pop shove it. I can make that bitch turn, though. I just I can't yeah. land it. It's really hard. <laughs> I, mean, yeah, I can't yeah, ride that bitch, but it ain't no tricks. Like, she all my friends, like, 30, 55, they all be going to skate parks, and it's like, I want to I wanna have fun, but then I get there, and I'm just, like, pushing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can go forward and turn left. I am so scared to drop in, bro. Like, I am, oh like, God. super ramp rider, like, from the bottom, though. Like, I'm not, I don't know. Every time I get close to the Copens, I get, like, anxiety i'm like nah i'm going too high well this is too much i can't <laughs> i have like no like ability to like catch myself like they be like just popping off like riding like just yeah. playing it off like nothing like yo i'm gonna fall and i'm gonna fall hard like yeah. it's not gonna be cute i'm gonna be bleeding i'm gonna break yeah. something See, look no, ripstick ripstick gave me like how to fall Balance. instructions uh, so that. i was just like damn bro like when i fall it's not even that bad i'll be like ah, ah, ah. You gotta I'm learn like, how to fall. Yeah. Oh God. Learning how to fall. You learn how to fall through skateboarding. I'm Facts. so scared. I, I was a theater kid. Never went outside. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, next question. Um, this dude said, "Shrooms or acid?" I've this? never done acid. I've done shrooms, what? but shroom, shrooms are pretty nice. I, it is like, I feel like acid might be too long. It is. I don't it know. Is too it's long. a long. It is, but it's great. <laughs> I know. I'm so scared of shrooms. It's a like great after eight hours. Ones, and like worst time of my life, I was at a studio. My phone was like looking bigger. I was like, Ugh, uncomfortable situation. No, when but you're acid, in acid, a- lit. My favorite thing to do: you micro, you take half a tab of acid and go to the beach. Best thing ever. Dude, I was oh on acid god. at the pool the other day, bro. Oh my god, that's true. Bro, we awesome. go out. We go out to like this club. It's lame as fuck. We go to another club and like, oh mind you, we're like god. three Don't hours into club, hanging bro. out, Don't and Montez club, looks at me and he's like. I'm on acid. <laughs> like, <laughs> he wasn't going to tell such a Montez thing. But look, yo, <laughs> the only reason why I said that was because the vibe was so weird in there. Yeah, we were in a, in a random situation. We're not going to speak on it, but no, it was a random no club. <laughs> so sus. We were, we were having a great time. And Montez just looks at me. He's like, I'm on acid. I'm like, it's bro. like, get me out of here. <laughs> you know what's funny, though? Like, when I was on shrooms, um, the first time I, like, microdosed, so I didn't see anything. Mm-hmm. So it was just, like, I remember uh, the whole meme when uh, Melly was, like, bitch, I'm a murderer came out. <laughs> and, like, he kept looking at the screen. For some reason, I thought that was the funniest shit for four hours straight. <laughs> <laughs> and like bro everybody else thought it was funny for four hours straight so we were literally laughing at melly for four hours fucking That's straight funny. it was terrible <laughs> um, it was and terrible. then i remember i had to drive home and i was like because at that point i'm not seeing nothing so i'm like all right i think i'll be good okay. bro everything looked like gta and like it <laughs> was like mario kart <laughs> bro like it was just like everything like looked a game. a game yeah bro like it looked like a game and like my depth perception is fucked like yeah. so every time like i was super far from the light it looked hella far and then when i'm like super close i'm like shit why is it so close so fast i don't understand speed right now i made it home though don't do psychedelics and drive kids um and then <laughs> the second time i actually started seeing stuff but I don't know, maybe I'm like a strong minded person because every yeah. time I felt myself going into a time loop or something, I'm just like, nigga, you're high. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay. You catch yourself. Like, <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm looping Sorry. again. I'm like, I'm just off acid. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> right, bro. You like, tell yourself that, but then like, you're literally like, like in that shit for like four to eight type hours. Type not. Like, oh, with acid, yeah, like, I only like, see shit like breathe. Like, I see like oh, a tapestry move, like I've shit. Heard that. I'm like, all right, that's breathing. But like, off shrooms, like, that's the most visual thing I've ever seen. Like, I was texting and like, I'm like telling my. My friend like oh my god i'm third wheeling off shrooms like get me the fuck out of here <laughs> and like his texts are going like op- like opening up and shit i'm like bruh oh, looking at your Bro. phone on psychedelics is the worst i'm not gonna lie it's funny i <laughs> forgot that like liquids like even existed during shrooms because i was like i'm uh, thirsty bro what even is water but like no, what, like why didn't i think hey there's water that comes out of a fucking uh, faucet and you can drink that you can solve this that. problem but i'm just like 
fuck it i'm just thirsty bro <laughs> like nah. there's no solution <laughs> Um, I'm gonna stay thirsty the whole fucking eight hours. <laughs> oh God, bro! Fucking, I remember being in bed because uh, I I was dumb and I didn't go to sleep for like 24 hours and like I decided, hey, let's do shrooms. So <laughs> fucking, I went like to the sleep. Worst time to do shrooms. Right, worst time. <laughs> went to sleep and I woke up because Constant had came in the room and he had woke me up and I woke up tripping. And I was like, oh, shit. I was like, fuck, because I went to sleep before it started kicking in, bro. So I was just like, all right, I'm going to just take a nap. And then, like, I woke up and everything looked like 3D. It was like red and blue. And I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, shit, I did take shrooms. That did did happen. But the most that really happened when I was on shrooms was, like, everything just melted together. It looked like wet paint. It was just like... I, the the thing was is that I was like wanting to see something, so I was just like staring at walls. Yeah, like, you have to keep happen. staring or take more <laughs> to actually like see. Uh, right. Bro, back when I would do acid, I would just stare at the walls and see fragments. That's all I would That's see. That's what I love about acid. With shrooms, you have to around. be really chill, and then everything comes out. Yeah, but on pe- acid, everything's already out. Yeah, bro. So. People be, be like trying to like move me and shit. Like, chill, bro. I'm looking at this wall right oh. now. <laughs> this wall. <laughs> this wall is going hard. Like, as I remember. Fuck. I looked at my phone, bro, and I tried to read it because I think I had like I got a notification or something, mm-hmm. and I looked at it and it just looked like paint, and I was like, well, not gonna be able <laughs> to read that. This one down. <laughs> nah, <laughs> looking at social media on acid is another thing. Nah. And like I going had... through people's stories is so weird. I couldn't be, like, even like... unlock my phone, bro. <laughs> it was literally Lost wet paint. Like it was literally like, how the fuck do I even open the phone? Like mm-hmm. we're stuck at point A. Like we can't. Listen, that's what it's we like. We can't even get into fucking the phone to see <laughs> social right media. Now. We're fucked. Like, we're done here. No, oh. And if you somehow make it to social media and you're watching the stories, I'm literally like 30, three minutes into it. I'm like, who are all these people? That's a whole other life. Dude. Like, I'm like, that's like a, like, I don't know. It feels like a movie. Like, I'm watching a movie. Like, yeah, yeah. Life and shit, like, Whoa. like staring into someone's one, soul through, like, stories. they're partying and shit like oh shit you did that last week uh, again okay again shit this is all uh, you do 24 7 dudes at the like, studio like oh okay he's making music or like anything bro it's, it's just like, like what the fuck <laughs> it is it's like everybody's like life like i don't know it's just more like hyper aware like when you're on it Nah, I'd be feeling unstoppable. I feel like cops can't get me. Like, I'd be, that's what I'm saying. No, but listen, I'll be wild, though. Like, I'll be at the beach, and I feel, like, free as fuck. I'm like, you don't know I'm my bestie. You don't know I'm my bestie. I'm chilling. No, it's funny, because, like, all I imagine is her in, like, a bikini running down Miami Beach. Like, y'all don't, y'all can't catch me, bro. I'm on acid, and no one knows. Nobody knows. That's the best part. I'm out here. Like, bro, what's nah, up with this girl? At the beach, I just, I don't get out of the water. Yo, the water's so peaceful. I'm like a duck. Yeah, <laughs> Straight up fish. Like, I might be a fish. There. I might be a fish. No one told me. It's great. You feel super unstoppable? I feel super stoppable. I'm like, just <laughs> anything will take me out right now. Bro. <laughs> Let me look at this wall. I remember, bro, I remember being off shrooms, bro, and watching some shit. And, like, I remember I was like, bro, I can't watch anything violent right now because, oh like, this God. is not it. So I remember I was well, I put on like a cartoon. It was like a, a kitty cartoon, bruh. And they started fighting and I was like, this is too violent. Turn it off. Violent. Y'all need therapy. Turn it off. <laughs> nah, there's this Bro, oh, that's it, was, it, it went from like SpongeBob type episode to Happy Tree Friends. I'm I never watched this show a day in my fucking life. I was like, just put something on, bruh. Just put on a cartoon. It can't be that bad. Yo, imagine showing Happy Tree Friends to like kids nowadays that like have no idea what it is. That that show just tripping nah, the fuck out. Nah, I feel like out. they'd be like they'd be woke. They got the internet. You think they'd be woke? <laughs> they got the internet a lot earlier. My than kids we are did. getting that's true, phones. but that's yeah, just that. Nah. <laughs> Yo, my niece, she's five and she's like FaceTiming me, like what? having a great ass time. She's like, look at my toys. I'm like, oh, go enjoy your toys, <laughs> right? I'm not gonna lie though, like I kind of fuck with the feature that uh, a- Apple put on the phones. Mm-hmm. Like it's like a parental feature. So like, mm-hmm. if I were to give my kid an iPhone, I'd put like leapfrog and that's it that's the only <laughs> shit you can see on there bro because i got you a phone so i can contact you yeah they maybe get you tetris a phone so you can be on instagram no 100 percent, bro like it's dangerous bro kids like yeah. that's that's the whole world too much debauchery in I your hands just, like, people like on tiktok like like little kids on tiktok that they'd be like in middle school like posting like dances in their bathroom i'm like bruh like yeah in middle school i wasn't doing none of this in middle school nah, i was too. telling everybody <laughs> to, to suck my dick and literally just like i rem- <laughs> i remember i was just such a reckless ass fucking like tween bruh because like i swear like middle schoolers 
get to cursing for the first time and they can't stop. Like they're just like, fuck bitch, fuck ass shit. Yeah, the like, second you learn to curse. So like I remember making videos and not being able to post them because my parents would be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, no, no, I did not raise you. So a lot of my videos never went, got posted because my parents ain't play that, that shit. shit. So I don't even see how kids could be out here twerking at 12 because my mom would beat my ass <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty dope because i know you you spoke on how like rough childhood but yeah. your parents were still like they had that line like nah this internet shit no bro my mom <laughs> was i swear if she wasn't uh smoking whatever the fuck she'd be smoking she probably would have been like the a1 parent she believed in like oh kids are supposed to have their own experiences so they can learn from their mistakes you feel okay. me so she encouraged us to go outside and like interact with people which is facts. however you feel me? She's like, look, you're going to do whatever the fuck you want to do. You feel me? Mm-hmm. The only thing I can do is try to guide you. I'm not going to stop you from doing a whole bunch of shit. You feel me? I'd rather you tell me, hey, I'm starting to smoke or, hey, I'm having sex. You feel me? So I can protect you or, like, know, like, you know, how to go about it. You feel mm-hmm. me? But some things that my mom ain't play with. When I was, like, 12, I was not allowed to wear shorts that came above my knees, bro. And I used to hate that shit. I'm like, bro, my friends are wearing, like, shorts and, like, tights. And my mom, I wasn't even allowed to wear skinny jeans till high school, whoa. <laughs> like, mo, bro, my mom did not play that shit. Because it was just like, bro, at the time, I didn't understand. But it was just like, just because you don't sexualize your kid doesn't mean some weirdo yeah. is not. And, like, my mom already told me, like, it's not just men. You got to look out for women. You got to look out for everybody. Like, she was not on that shit. Like, you feel me? Like, a lot of people are like, oh, we got to protect you from men. But women are the same ones molesting kids, too. Like, you feel me? She didn't play that shit in no standpoint. So it was just, like, a lot of shit where it was like, I'm protecting you at certain ages. Like, there's, like, checkpoints. You feel me? Like, oh, you turned 15? You can get your first pair of shorts that kind of go above your knee. Oh, you you turned 16? You can get six-inch heels now. Like, you feel me? You was wearing four and two-inch heels before. Now you can six. You feel me? That's pretty dope. That's, like, like, in a lot of aspects, that's, like, on-point parenting that a lot of people just don't get. Like, the freedom aspect, you kids got to go out there and learn for themselves. Well, a lot of kids are deprived from that freedom when your parent is just on your ass about everything. These kids go out in the real world, like, duh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going exactly. on. And then they're, like, off Molly, and they didn't even know. And it's like, well, your parent didn't teach bro, you not to listen, take drinks. I'm, tr- I'm trying to tell you, bro. Like, listen, bro. Like, I was raised around crackheads, bro. My parents did not fucking hide from me how drugs work, nigga. Like, they're like, yo. Don't start doing them shits. Like, weed is fine, but you see these motherfuckers? Guess what? They thought that shit was cool, too. Mm-hmm. And then now you now you a 60-year-old crackhead. <laughs> Fucking, yeah. no, bro, don't be doing that shit. And they was telling me, like, bro, just because it ain't crack don't mean, like, they like the newer drugs, we didn't know what the fuck it was. You feel me? We thought yeah. it was, like, something cool. Like, we thought it was Molly, right? Uh-huh. Molly down here is just like, oh, yeah, you know, younger niggas do it. And then, then you start seeing motherfuckers turn into dope. Fiends, bro, literally. Yeah, cause down in Florida you got a yeah. you get a lot of meth bombs. Like really? in the mo- yeah, you'll get like like it's not really Molly, it's meth. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like just like a oh, tiny yeah, dosage yeah. of meth. Yeah. That's when you see people tweaking like heavy. You could tell when someone's off Molly they or someone's off like, like days, tweaking like, heavy. You know wait, what I'm saying? That shit is mo- wait, yeah, that shit's is meth, bro? It happens. Not not every time, but like if you Nah, get- cause there's this powder version yeah. of yeah. Molly that's yellow. It's not pink, yeah, bro. I, I don't. Yes, I don't know too much bro. about details. That but. should be the bro. I remember that shit that hit the hood bad as fuck. I remember it, like a lot of the kids in my age, like twelfth grade and past, like to this day, they still on that shit. It's like powdered fucking Molly, bro. And you smoke it, and oh, instead dry. of yeah, bro, it's some <laughs> crazy shit, bro. Like instead of like when you pop a Molly, you get the automatic, you know, effects. Yeah. You kind of like my cousin did that shit for a while, and she was telling me how it was because she popped I've the Molly seen before. People just fucking Bro, crazy. They never get to the maximum high, so the problem is that you gotta keep rolling up. But by yep. the time you roll up the next joint, you you already not high no more. So like it's just like an ever going cycle of yeah. just. Okay, okay, and then before you know it, six months down the line, and you literally smoke like ten M joints a, a day. day, and you haven't eaten in like fucking two weeks. Yeah. 
No, it's, it's, and you think that the time has passed has been like three weeks. Like you just get lost in that fucking world of just like. Facts. And that's the worst high because those stimulant highs, like the second you feel it going away, you're like, yo, re up right now. Like right now, bro, let's go. Bro, I that's remember. Crazy. And 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 the thing about Molly is, well, that I don't know what the fuck that shit is at this point because y'all talking about they got meth out here now. Fuck. I don't yeah. even know. But it's just like that shit was weird because it's like. The side effects is, it's like, you know, like off M, when you roll in, a lot of people don't eat because you throw up. Yeah. So if you're consistently smoking this shit, you're not eating. You get irritated. You also, M is one of those uh, uppers. They're not downers. Yeah, now you can't mix that shit with anything. Like exactly. So it's like when you're on an upper, you're not going to sleep. So now you have people yeah. that aren't eating, aren't sleeping for fucking two weeks straight. And what happens? They become zombies, paranoid fucks. Like, they're just like, bro, like, they're tweakers, bro. Tweakers, yeah. And it was, it was, like, so crazy because I remember when it first came out, everybody was normal. They was like, nah, we, we smoke it in, whatever. And I remember months went Same. by. Motherfuckers was dropping weight like crazy. It was disgusting. Motherfuckers' oh, eyes oh. was popping out their skulls and shit. Yeah. I'm like... Yeah, yeah. No. Uh, dog, you forgot to blink like eighty thousand times. I remember, bro. Someone like, tried to get me to do that shit, bro. They tricked okay. me, bro. They was like, "This shit is weed," and I'm like, "And they what? Well, they sprinkled that shit on you." Yeah. Oh, oh, you smoked bro, the dirty. That, and I fucking Fuck smoked that bitch. It was cold. I was like, "That ain't weed, bro. So cold. That ain't weed." It was cold as fuck. I was like, "Ice, bro." I'm like, "That's not weed, yeah, bro." That's how you can tell when it's laced, for sure. Oh my god, I was like focused for another 30 minutes, but I was like, nah, bro, y'all not finna. I'm not fucking smoking with y'all no more. Y'all got me <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, that's whack. <laughs> Don't give your homies blunts that are laced. Bro. At least yeah, tell them. Shit. Exactly. Had that once. Yeah, it's happened to me. It yeah. happens in New York. Yeah. It happens in Miami. <laughs> it should not happen. Name. On God, bro. Don't fucking yeah, smoke with everybody. Right. No. Yeah, yeah. I've always been told, but like people be passing it to me. They're like, oh, it has this. Like if I'm gonna take it, I'm like, Sir, no. <laughs> <laughs> Keep Thank your debauchery, you? sir. <laughs> the debauchery. All right, the debauchery. So moving forward. <laughs> we're almost, almost done here. Um, any future projects coming up or songs that you're working on? Um, um, now that you're like getting the ball rolling or like yeah, things, things. Definitely some songs, but I can't. I can't. Uh, speak on it. Speak. speak. Too much about it. Just know there is. There's definitely more music coming on the way. Are I've been, you? Like focusing mo mainly on like singles or like is there like a project you're working on as a better kind of both. Kinda both. It's just like you know I'm kind of like all right we're experimental. Mm -hmm. It's just like all right y'all like uh, y'all like this y'all like this all right let's see if y'all like <laughs> this because it's like every time like I feel like in the past I was like all over the place and I really didn't know what my style was. Mm -hmm. I mean like it was just like rapping on anything you feel yeah, me? Yeah, but it's like more so it's like focused now. Like I know what the fuck I want to make. So it's exactly. like now it's easier for me to make music, and yeah. I'm like, I wanna. I just realized you have a fucking berserk symbol. Yeah, that's hard. <laughs> it's not real. I'm gonna get it like tatted very soon. I'm just too pussy right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you know what this is though. I'm so sorry. I just realized she got yeah. a berserk symbol on her face. That's soon hard. Thank you. Um, anyway, but yeah, like now, now I'm more focused. I'm like, all right, I know how to rap now. <laughs> we can, we can do this. Y'all fucking with what I'm doing. So. Uh, I, but I'll trust say, me. Make sure you keep dropping videos. Like whatever you're yeah. doing, oh, yeah, like yeah, capitalize yeah, yeah. on videos. Oh my god, because it's like now, like I remember there was a point in time motherfuckers didn't even see the point in videos because mm -hmm. they were just like SoundCloud, just listen to it on SoundCloud. Drop but then, single. It goes yeah, oh, yeah the facts, bro. And it was like that for a while. But yeah. then with TikTok, everybody wants to see shit now. So it's like, all right, we back on the music video wave, and I'm like, bro, I rather do crazy shit. Like, I want y'all to watch. I want to watch something. I like watching shit. Like, I didn't yeah. want trap to be normal. You feel me? Like, just a little low key a concept behind it. It doesn't look random as fuck. Like, it's not like I'm in front of a corner store with guns and yeah. fucking money. Like, there's an yeah. actual concept to the fucking shit. Like, the shit, even if it's not as like extravagant and crazy, it's like, you feel me? Like, that's kind of how I want to make my videos. Mm -hmm. I want it to be like cinematic or somewhat cinematic Give it that vibe you feel to me them. Yeah, every exactly. time you do one it's probably just gonna go up like yeah the more you do you know what I'm even if you don't drop like process. full music videos like visualizers like everyone wants to see something now so like you do like a 15 second like visual for like a single like that shit gonna blow just cause oh it has God. like an image behind it yeah exactly. real quick question how was it when you saw like cause I know TikTok started like taking the buzz like how, did, how does it feel to see that when it's like yo shit finally shit, some shit's moving like nice bro mm -hmm. when I tell you I was like I got put on the TikTok. Somebody had um, told me, they were like, yo, this is like the quickest way 
to get famous now because it's like you've always it everybody who reaches the video is always random yeah so it's not always just your following it's always gonna be some new motherfuckers yep, so sure. i was like all right we going in here with a plan then i was like let me like get a little following telling jokey jokes and then we're gonna start dro- dropping music See on it mm-hmm. so it was like by the time it started happening i was like yeah, this is exactly what <laughs> I wanted what to I happen, bro. Is that, bro, this, it was like a diabolical plan because uh-huh. I was like, bro, okay, like, I get how this algorithm works now. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, get myself unshadowed, bad, whatever the fuck. <laughs> Fucking hate that shit. But, why did that, that happen? Because I, I would go on, like, how hiatuses, and then they'll be like, oh, you're, it's no activity. So That's then what they, happened to me right now. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, like, I'll get, like, too the many fuck. videos taken down because Trump supporters are like, stop <laughs> talking about black people right rights and latino rights you're fuck fuck you <laughs> and then like and they're like take it down yeah I'm when you like, when you're consistent you. tiktok fucks with you the moment you stop for two seconds they're like all right like, forgotten yeah, nah. bro literally i remember <laughs> there was crazy. one point where they they one of my videos got taken down and then the next morning 10 videos got taken down and my account was banned for, like temporarily Shh. i was like what the fuck <laughs> Like, bro, what? Why are you playing me right what now? What is this? So you're telling me, bro, like, they can they can make racist jokes, but as soon as I say the N-word as a black person, y'all not fucking with it. I get banned. And what the fuck? There's things on TikTok that are what? wild. Like, you know, RP Juice, or when he died, the challenges that people were doing were disgusting. Bro, like, I don't know if y'all remember, like, the kids are, like, faking a seizure. Like, that oh, was, yeah. That nah, shit would that stay up. Yo, but I want to say, like, what's dope is you took it into your own hands. What a lot of people do is they're like, okay, I know TikTok's popping. How do I get someone to fucking do a TikTok of me? Oh nah, you were just like, let you, like, you said you had a game plan. A lot of people don't have a game plan. You went and made your own TikTok. You went with, like, let me do jokes first. Let me get that little buzz first. That's smart as fuck. Facts. So, like, shout out to you. Because, bro, like, I realize, like, self promotion is probably the best promotion. It is. Because, like, trying to depend on people to repost. And, I mean, it's nice to get the repost now, you of feel course. me? But, damn, how long did it take y'all motherfuckers yeah. to repost the shit? Yeah. Like, nigga, I had to get 18,000 followers for y'all to be like, hmm, let's go. Let's go. Like, oh, yeah, fuck with What's like, going on here? What the fuck? Like, bro, I've been doing this shit for the last two years. I was paying motherfuckers to fucking put me on playlist and oh, SoundCloud. Bro, I stopped that shit after like six months. I was like, this shit ain't doing it nothing. It doesn't. I don't know. It like, depends on the, play, the plan, placement you got. Really. Yeah, I say when it's early, yeah, a lot of people, like, like when the earlier careers, you're, you're just not bound to know the right person exactly. when you're early on. But you're bound to know a shit ton of people offering, yeah, I got this service, this service, this right. service. And it's usually just bullshit. At first, you know, until you, know you start I mean, meeting yeah. like, people that are more like. There's like small people that like genuinely care about their like. Because, for example, like people at Brain Bakery, um, shout out Sammy LaFlair. She be like really curating like that playlist. And like you get a placement on there and that shit booms. Yeah. But then there's like four other ones trying to be her. Mm-hmm. And then it's like they're charging way more than her. And then you don't get shit out of it. Like, oh, my God, bro. Know. That's my thing. Like, uh, I realized like early, like. Bro, when it comes to promotion, it's about consistency and facts. Staying yeah. on top of yeah. your shit and marketing your shit, cause it's like I always say this to like my fellow artists. You feel me? Like I was telling these niggas, bro, do this, do this. Mm-hmm. Like I'm like, I, I don't know if it's gonna work, but we gonna see. And then I'm the one that kind of, I'm like, bro, literally, I told y'all to hop Something on the wave, hop on the fucking wave right now. I'm trying to tell y'all right now. Like you feel me? But it was just like. Right. Yo, TikTok is like super self promotion. Mm-hmm. It's super self promotion. It's like, bro, I don't gotta go through fucking everybody and their mom to do this. Mm-hmm. You can do it yourself. Yeah, so that's great. That's just changing the whole like music scene yeah. too. Facts. Like, a lot. Blowing up songs that like, like I, I don't know. If you get millions and millions of plays off like one TikTok, and it's like, bruh. If you would have left that on Spotify, you would have seen up. nothing. Yeah, yeah. darky. Yo, so no cap. Yeah, yeah, and I'm cracks. not gonna lie though. Like, I like the fact that TikTok, even though you can blow up, it's not like all the ass songs are blowing up. Like, it might be a funny song that might blow up, but majority of the songs that come out are pretty pretty catchy. Yeah, they're pretty catchy. I think it's the catchiness in there. I'm I'm someone who believes, like, for things to go viral is not luck. Like, there's a factor of luck, but without quality, it doesn't go through. Oh, my God. You can't be, like, shitty-ass quality and then expect your shit to... No, bro. Like, you, a lot of these songs that go viral, it'd be motherfuckers that... They got clear audio, nice beat. Yeah, they, they know what they're they doing. Exactly. That's and why it blows. Exactly. It's not like, oh, yeah, just anybody. I'm like, bro, 
I can see why he may not be the best rapper, but his quality was a fucking amazing and his flow and his tempo and everything sounded great. So I could see why he got famous. You feel me? And sometimes you see the artist through all of it. You see, you could see like, oh, he's developing, but he's really an artist oh, or God. she or she, you know what I'm saying? Facts, facts, like, facts. like, so it's like, you could, that's why I say like, I like visuals. Visuals, because you get so much more of the visuals. Sometimes you get like, okay, maybe this song wasn't the hardest, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep my eye on this person for oh the next God. track. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Yo, dope, dope fucking podcast. I think we want to leave sure. it with like a question, like like a message that you have for the fans. Yeah. Um, sure. Don't do drugs. Uh, <laughs> I love that. I love that. That's the best thing. I love that. Legit, don't do drugs. Um, drugs. Don't do drugs. Uh, if someone says you suck, tell them to suck your dick. Um, even if you don't have one, it's 2021. We can say whatever now. Um, <laughs> fucking uh, shit. I I suck at these. Don't. Fuck <laughs> you're killing it. You're killing it. <laughs> Bro, what what is another thing? Um. Just because I'm violent in music don't mean that you guys have to be violent. You guys could do nicer things to yourselves, um, like reading books. Books are nice. Um, also, lyrics, this I'm message genius. has been approved by <laughs> Scotty. <laughs> also, also um, before you guys talk shit, please look up about the topics that you're talking so you don't sound like a fucking idiot because a lot of y'all be right. sounding dumb as fuck. You but literally got Google on your hand. On yeah. God, you fact literally check have fact checkers as phones and yeah. you guys still continuously sound stupid so i i encourage you guys to pick up a book or a google a dic- the dictionary app yeah read the dictionary. <laughs> just, oh, yeah. And just educate yourself <laughs> education is important big facts be yourself let's go triple seven episode Ooh, 11 say. illuminati scotty yeah Scotty in the building yo yeah.